People's Democratic Party PDP leaders and supporters, led by the national chairman of the party, Senator Iyochia Ayu, and the party's presidential flag bearer, Atiku Abubakar, in a peaceful protest, marched to the headquarters of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Abuja. The party is aggrieved with the outcome of the just concluded 25th February presidential election, which they say was marred with infractions and failure of the electoral umpire to adhere strictly to the provision of the Electoral Act 2022. We are protesting and we have the right to protest under the constitution. It doesn't stop us from going to court, the fact that we are protesting. All the provisions of the current electoral law has been completely contravened. And we were protesting, and INEC was not listening. They were bent on going with this, announcing these results. And that's why we are protesting. In fact, this protest is going to continue for a very, very long time. Either every day or every other day. In a strong worded letter submitted to the INEC by the leadership of the party, the party accused the electoral umpire of complicity in a planned manipulation of the electoral process in favor of the ruling party, APC. The letter indicates that the failure of the INEC to ensure unhindered access to the results of the polls to the IRF portal resonates the fear of Nigerians in the Commission's integrity to conduct a free, fair, transparent and credible election. INEC Commissioner on Information and Voters Education, Festus Okoye, who received the letter on behalf of the National Chairman of the Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, says the Commission owes no allegiance to any political party except the people. He assures of plans to meet the protesters' demand for a halt to reoccurrence of lapses that marred the February 25th election. Meanwhile, Atiku Abubakar has vowed that the protests will continue in latter days until their demands are met. Catherine Chooks reporting for VOS TV News, Benin.